the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Yes, hello, uh, me, Stato Steve, with Miles here. He uh, drew the unlucky uh, piece of paper and got me. Sorry about that. But um, talk us through this then. This is your most popular tree. Uh, yes, this is um, uh, Nordman fir. Obviously, they, uh, they don't drop the needles, unlike some, so people don't like the needles being dropped. Um, this one is uh, six foot, quite wide. It's around 40 pounds. They vary in height and uh, the width and quality. That's how we work the price out. Um, keeping the needles, the best ones we do. Uh, people try and water them, like water the needles, don't have to. They're very good anyway. But if you uh, want to water it, uh, put the block in water. Is uh, the ideal thing to do to water it. Okay, and a uh, bit of a freebie bonus, uh, looking very festive with the frost that we've had from the weather. Uh, yeah, well, all last week we had snow on it, so it got people in the Christmas mood, so it helped on the weekend but it does also hinder people because they can't get here. So yeah. we want the snow to stay away. Yeah, we do. Uh, but as I say, so this has proved very popular though? Uh, yeah, over the past like 10 or so years, it's transitioned from the, the Norway spruce, which uh, I think we'll look at later on, to this, which uh, has taken them um, to become most popular. Okay, well it is certainly a very fine tree indeed, but let's go over to uh, Travel Tom, who's with Alex, to uh, have a look at an another tree. Okay, so this is the Norway spruce, and Alex is here with me now. Alex, what is different about this tree compared to the one we've just seen? Well, the Norway spruce, the main difference is that they do actually drop the needles, um, which is why they've become a bit less popular with people, that people don't want to mess in the house. Okay, okay, and what kind of sizes do these come in height and width-wise? Are these slightly bigger trees or, or smaller trees? They're slightly thinner trees and they range in sizes from anywhere from about four foot up to these ones which are probably seven or eight foot. Okay, okay, so anyone who's got like a small living room or doesn't want a really big tree, this is probably one of the better ones? This is probably a better one for them and they are also slightly scented as well, so they give off a nice aroma. And how much would I have to pay for, for one of these? What prices do these range from? Um, well, each tree is priced individually, so it just depends on how thick they are, how big covering is and how tall they are so okay wonderful well we'll go and find steve because i think he's looking at a different tree and we'll tell you a bit about that one cheers tom right from the norway spruce to the scots pine um it's quite a tidy tidy looking tree doesn't look um very messy if that's the, the, the right way of saying does but do, do the pines fall off this one um they're in the middle basically your norman's your best your spruce is the worst these ones they'll lose a few needles but um not as not as much as a, the spruce behind me um, they're not the most popular tree, obviously there's only a certain part of people who like the look of these trees. I like some of them, I don't like some of us because you have to be lucky in the choice. Um, these are similar price to the spruce, not as much as your Nordman. Um, this one, for say, this one's uh, $29.99 and um, obviously the taller they get and the shorter they get the price changes. Again, very festive feel with, with the frost that we've had. Um, in terms of the height, um, what, what is the average? Again, this is well over six foot. Yeah, uh, the average we do is we do like a, like a six or seven foot, which is this, and then we do a slightly smaller one. We don't do any bigger because they lose the shape when they get bigger. So this is pretty much as tall as we do in uh, this type. Okay, uh, I'd like to finish with a did you know, did you know that Prince Albert uh, is credited with bringing the Christmas tree to Britain uh, in Victorian times? That's a status, Steve, did you know? Thank you. Okay, so here's another Christmas tree you could possibly win or purchase. Now, there's something slightly different about this tree, Alex. It's got a pot on the bottom. What's that about? Um, well, yeah, they're all pot grown, so they're actually grown inside the pot, so they've all still got the roots on. That just means they last a bit longer and shed the needles less. Okay, so if I was to get one of these this year, uh, have you up for Christmas, what do I do after Christmas Day? Well, you can plant it and it will keep still carry on growing. It's just like any other garden tree. It's got roots, so it will just keep going. Okay, now one of the services you offer down here is delivery. What happens with that then? Um, well, if your car's a bit too small for your tree to fit in, we'll deliver it for you. We deliver to nearly everywhere, but obviously there is a slight cost involved in that. Okay, and you also net it up as well uh, to put it in the vehicles. Um, and if you're not as strong as me, they'll actually take it to your car as well. Well, I hope that's got you in the festive spirit a little bit further as we approach Christmas. That's all the trees that they have to offer. We're just off the A41 by the Crown at the Codsland Works Garden Centre. And can we get yourself a proper Christmas tree? <laughs>